This is my version of doming. Um, this is what I use. It's uh, pretty low tech. And as you can tell, the, my welds were terrible back in the day. And I've been using this a long time. I mean, it's, this is this is my probably one of my first pieces of equipment that I built. Um, all it is is a couple of four and a half inch pipe caps. See, I use one for a base, one for a dome. And I've got a two and a half inch pipe cap. Fits in there pretty good. Okay. I do almost everything with one like this or this one. This is the one I keep in the house. This is what I, I mean, because my fab shop's at another spot. And uh, I use this quite a bit. I uh, went ahead and cut out a couple of buckles for you. So you can see kind of what I want to do. Um, they're, silver, they're silver, so I'm going to go ahead and put the leather piece in here. And just like so. All right. I'm going to hand it over here to Quirt. You ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, here you go. Yep. Alright, keep it right there. Okay? Okay. Alright, you got it? Alright, here we go. This is just a little 5 8 square buckle. Still needs to be cleaned up and everything. But I'm going to dome it first so you can see kind of what we're doing. I'm going to steal my wife's big maul. Want me to and, do uh, Yeah, not yet. Don't push it. Just keep it on here. Got it? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. And now obviously steel doesn't go quite that easy, but the silver will. Okay. There you go. There's one. And you know, and it, you you can vary it. I mean, I've got to where I kind of know where, where how I want stuff bent and where I want it bent. Um, but anyway, that's that's the uh, low-tech version of uh, Domi. Thank you.